What the crap, dude? Somebody is knocking on my door. Hold on. It mid it's midnight at night and I'm in my hotel room and somebody's knocking on my door. This is weird, man. You have got to be kidding me. What's going on, man? What's up, buddy? What you doing? Uh, working a wedding. I hear you, man. Well, listen, I'm in South Florida. I had to come down here for a couple days, and I get to fish the next two days. I was going to see if you wanted to come down and fish with me. Dude, every time you go to South Florida, I'm working. What's up with that? <laughs> I got weddings today and tomorrow, dude. I don't think I can make it down. Okay, well, I'm going to go snook fishing tomorrow, and I'm going to send you photos. All right, man. Sounds good. All right, buddy. I'll talk to you soon. All right, man. Later. So as you heard, I am in South Florida, and uh, hey, I'm going to go out right now, and I'm going to do a roadside challenge and see if I can catch some tarpon and some snook. I haven't done this in a very long time. It's one of my favorite things to do. So we're wasting daylight. Let's go get it done. Look at that big girl right there. She's just getting her some, getting a suntan. Getting a Saturday suntan, that's it. What's up, girl? Now the first thing I wanna do, guys, before I even get started, is throw this cast net and see if we can catch some good snook candy here. We need some snook candy. I don't want to be alligator bait. Oh! Oh, there's a lot of, a lot of good looking baits right here. If I can make a good throw. I think I got a few. Come here. I got a few. I got a few. Oh, don't get out. Oh yeah. What do I got in here? Oh my God, I got a Placo. <laughs> I did not want a Placo in the cast net. Hey, come here. Come here. All right, guys, we did get us a few live baits to work with here. I really didn't want to do it, but this is the Beach Bum Bridge. And if you're new to the channel and haven't seen that clip, here it is. Beach bum lost him a good one right here. He lost him a real good one right here. Let's see if there's anything sitting under there. I don't see much activity. Well, guys, the bum bridge was not producing, so we just moved over to this other bridge in hopes that we can find. Maybe a little better bite. Who knows? Who knows? Come on, bad boy. No, I just heard one a minute ago blow up on a bait under there. So I'm thinking maybe we got a shot here. Oh, dude, I'm on. I'm on. There he is. That's a good fish. Come here. That's a good fish. Don't take... Oh, he's, not... he's, he's taking me down. That's a real nice fish. Come here, baby. Come here. I think I got him out. That's a... Oh, come here. Come here. Oh, what do I got, dude? What are we working with here? Oh, snook. Heck yeah, baby. Heck yeah. Come here, darling. Look at that, guys. Roadside snook, dude. How cool is that? I thought he had me. Like, I, I felt my line rubbing on the bridge piling. That is so freaking cool, man. I love it. I love it. That's a healthy little fish right there. I'm going to let him go. This is like such a peaceful place to fish, man. There's hardly any cars right now on this road. Right before dark. Man, I love it. We just need a few more bites, man. Well, we had kind of a slow bite this evening, so we're gonna go regroup, make a location change in the morning, and get back after them, all right? Good morning, guys, and welcome back to the road with me. It is now 7.19 a.m. on the East Coast, and I am headed down 
to the Naples area. I know Brant's gonna be down here today. I already talked to him a couple times and I have a pretty good idea of where he's going to be because I do know that he's going snook fishing and I happen to know his favorite snook spot. All right, let's see if we can get us a shrimp going here. Oh, I think I'm getting a little bite right now. Yep, we're on, we're on. What do we got? What do we got? Oh my gosh, dude. It is a big Mayan cichlid on the shrimp. <laughs> Golly. Hey, chill out, dude. Can you believe this? That cichlid ate that shrimp up, dude. Check it out. All right, well. Oh, dude. Big snook blowing up over there. Okay. There's some big old snook blowing up on the uh, grass over here. So peaceful here in the morning. So I have finally seen some tarpon roll for the first time, and I tied on this little white fluke just to uh, just to see if I can get one. There's also snook blowing up on the bank. I think this is another cichlid. God, he's good gracious, man. That's like a cichlid on steroids there. These things fight, bro. Crazy how hard these guys fight. Oh, there he is. There he is. Yeah. Oh my God. Really? Giant cichlid. Giant cichlid. <laughs> Man, I, I like try to catch snook. And these freaking big cichlid keep hammering it down here. <laughs> he just scarfed that white fluke down. See it. Got him. All right, folks, we have made once again another location change. And just look at how beautiful this water is right here. Absolutely gorgeous. And I think I see a snook. I do see a snook. Oh my gosh, I do see a snook. Already, right when I right when I got here. He's not a big one, but I'll take him. Oh, he, he did not want any part of that. That dude was scared to death. Oh, well, that's a good sign. Super beautiful water. All right, guys, I found him. Hey man, are you angler up with Brent? Dude, you scared the <laughs> crap out of me. <laughs> what are you doing here? You invited me here. You said you weren't coming. I wasn't coming, but I changed my mind. I drove overnight and I'm came not down. I'm kidding, man. I like had a heart attack. <laughs> like literally almost had a heart attack. I wasn't gonna come. I was. I really was working when you called last night, but I drove overnight to get down here. Unbelievable. Pretty much just to scare you, and it worked. <laughs> so there's that. Freaking believable. That was success, guys. We actually, I think, started on him a little bit. I was just hoping to get a small reaction out of him, and ended up getting a really nice reaction out it of him. It's really scary. Like he calls me like 30 minutes ago. He's like, "Hey, man, what are you doing?" And and I was like, "Well, I'm fishing." And he's like, "Where are you fishing at?" And I was like, "Why are you asking all these questions?" I'm like, "I thought it was weird." And then. I, so you had no clue I was down here? No! <laughs> <laughs> yep, you better hurry. There they are. Grab the stick out of my net. The what? Stick. Oh. The problem is... They're held up right there. I don't think I got them. That's too far right there. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah, I did. Big flash. I don't worry about the little things, bro. Put more water. <laughs> yeah. We got a bunch of good baits, so now we can start live bait fishing. We got some muharas, some pinfish, perfect size too.
<laughs> That's payback for the <laughs> for the line in the water. <laughs> I did not know Brant was a dancer, y'all. <laughs> Brand's not speaking to me right now, y'all. Dude, that's the whole reason I drove down here. It's right there. That's all I wanted to do. There's like a 40 inch snow crate. I told you to bring the stupid rod. What are you doing? Hurry up. What do you want me for? Found this little pier right here, folks. And it's super shallow water. And right when I walked up, there was a huge snook sitting there. We almost passed this place up, so we're going to sit here for a minute. Yeah, look how he goes. Hmm. He ate it. He ate it. There he is. We got him. We got him. That was the sickest eat. That was amazing, dude. Was, oh, no. It doesn't matter. That was a sick eat, dude. That was the sickest eat I've ever had on a fish. I'm not kidding. That makes me sick my stomach. Like we literally followed him out of the mangroves, pitched on him, he Guys, ate I wanna, it. I wanna show y'all this water right here. Look how clear this water is right here, okay? We saw that fish coming down the mangroves. I pitched the bait right here. He sees the bait and chases it all the way in to right here is where he eats it. God, that was so such a sick eat. All right, I'm gonna grab another bait, man, real quick, and see if we can see another one. God, that was that was nasty. Look, he's eating an effing pinfish off the bottom that I threw off throughout. He did straight up. He's gonna eat. He's gonna eat. Oh, he he got it. There he is. We got him. We got him. There's another eat. God, dude. That is another sight fish. That one's not as big, but who cares? How freaking cool. How cool is that, man? How cool is that? Dude, he was starving. So, guys, I, one of my pinfish died, and I threw him over, and he was sitting on the bottom. And this redfish comes up and eats him. And then I threw a live pinfish out. And we got him. It's not necessarily the... Well, folks, there's nothing better than sight fishing a fish in... How, how deep is that, Ron? Half a foot of water? Less than a foot. Half a foot of water. Seeing him eat. Let's release this guy right here and watch him swim away in this beautiful crystal clear water. Let's watch him go. Where's he? He's swimming in circles, dude. I don't think he knows what he wants to do. There's a big redfish. Dude. Where? Right there, Ron. They're sneaking up right on top of you, dude. I do not see him. That's not right, right on there. top of me. <laughs> Maybe right on top of me. That's like a mile away. Unbelievable, dude. That was wild. That was so cool. Uh, <laughs> Hello. Hi. Don't mind us. You're adding to the excitement. So I'll tell you what was cool. We had our pinfish sitting right here alive. And I look and all of a sudden a jack comes and he's about to eat my pinfish. He would have taken the rod. Yeah, I was going to say, you barely got your I hand on that rod. The whole rod. Look how far out he is, man. When this shallow water, they only have... Oh crap, dude, oh, crap. Dude, big jack. There, I got it, I got it, there he is. Unbelievable, dude. That was wild. That was so cool. I... <laughs> Hello. Don't mind us. So I'll tell you what was cool, we had our pinfish sitting right here alive, and I look and all of a sudden a jack comes and he's about to eat my pinfish. He would have taken the rod I overboard. Say, you barely got your I would have lost the whole rod. Look how far out he is, man. When this shallow water, they only have one way to go, and that's out. <sighs> that is cool. Dude, pound for pound, these guys are just bruisers. 
He must be halfway decent size, man, because he's fighting. You're going to bring him in from this side. So, fun fact, that jack started to go into the mangroves. If you give him line like that, they'll usually turn and go right back out. Now he's going back to the mangroves. Oh. Let's see if he'll go back out. Yep, see there? We turned him. That's an old pure rat trick. It is crazy fighting these guys in this shallow water. They fight, dude. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, to, sorry to ruin your party. All right, come here. Wow. All right. That you can possibly catch. Such a cool fish. I've never caught one in this shallow water to see him take off running like that. He reminded me of catching bonefish in Belize. It's amazing how slow they swim off in this shallower water. Yeah. Like he's not getting in any hurry just like the redfish did. This is just such a cool area back here. And there's so many little spots along these roads like this that you can just stop and fish. It's just awesome. You never know what you're going to find. Guys, check it out. It's like a little miniature Fred. He's fishing though. Let's see if he gets him one. Oh, no, he missed. No, he didn't either. He got him. How many species did we catch today? It had to be like, we caught, we caught snook. I caught a snook yesterday afternoon. I caught cichlid, mangrove snapper, jack. Redfish. Redfish. That's pretty, pretty solid, man. It's a good day. That's a good day. So this is what I'm calling home for the night right here. I tried to talk Ron into booking a hotel room as well. He just left and said he's going camping. He brought his little tent and he's, he's going camping in the woods and doing a solo camping trip. So we'll see how that plays out. I'm sure you can find it on his channel, but I'm out. It's been a long day. What the crap, dude? Dude, somebody is knocking on my door. Hold on. It mid, it's midnight at night and I'm in my hotel room and somebody's knocking on my door. This is weird, man. You have got to be kidding me. What are you doing? It's midnight, dude. dude I can't do another night when I no sleep. It's hot. I tried to camp. Dude, you're supposed to be camping. Mm -hmm. Not this week. What are you doing? You told me you were camp. You got you booked a campsite with a tent. <laughs> what are you? Are you seriously sleeping on my floor? I just need air conditioning. What? <laughs> 